So longtime radio broadcaster Wayne Norman has been with the team and rather with the university for a very long time. The California native flew east to attend the university and then later joined the broadcast booth for football and men's basketball. And he's held that position for decades. Today he takes us from start to finish through this historic matchup. The series began in 1948 and Yale had some pretty darn good teams in the 40s, the 50s, into the 60s, and they dominated that series. How dominant, you ask? Yale won the first 16 games of the series until UConn broke through in 1965, a shock to the state and Bulldogs fans. The Yale alums did not appreciate losing to little old UConn, and the story goes that after that game, Carm Koza got a telegram that essentially said, there's a train leaving from New Haven to New York at 915. Be under it. Coach Koza went on to win 10 Ivy League titles in 32 years on Yale sidelines. So needless to say, he missed that train. The Bulldogs went on to win 14 of the next 17 annual meetings. The tide would turn in 1982 when the Huskies would win 14 of the next 16 meetings. UConn's 65-21 win in 1998 would be the last time the two programs played. I, for one, because I know the history of this series, I hope this becomes a regularly scheduled game. It makes certainly geographic sense. I think from the state of Connecticut, it makes sense. You know, the, the two division, the two biggest division one programs, UConn and Yale playing each other. And I would like to see the resumption of this every year, like it was from 1948 until 1998. Now, when the Bulldogs head to Rensselaer Field on Saturday, it will be for the first time ever in school history. Kickoff is at noon on Saturday. Brent, Jen, back to you. Fun, Unqua, thank you. And first night at UConn is back. The